Welcome back to the Cruise Brothers React Season 2 3. Come on, man. No one, it's not season 23. Three, it's, I hate how Is it 23? You know, th this is one of those. Shut up, you. <laughs> this is one of those shows where, like, each season or, like, different thing is, like, a whole different name. Like, they got a whole fucking subtext to it. This one is called The Seven Deadly Sins, Ten Commandments, or some shit. I hate when they do that, because it's like, they make it like separate shows, you know, a way. Whatever, man. Obviously, the fucking season two was a whole filler, so let's just get into the real season two. Damn, yo, that Ten Commandments shit got me excited. This, All this I want is hot. a fucking episode to start off the season with a banger. They have to they have to pull me in like they did the first season, so let's see if they can do it. What, what did the first season pull you in with? The first episode for the first season wasn't like Something that. Something happened in the first season to on the first episode to make me want to see the second. I remember it was literally every episode they had something. So. They had like one little ass holy night fight that didn't do nothing. It was just like two hits, some shit. I don't know. But um, oh yeah, it was like it was just because the animation was like it was looking crisp on the first fight. It was Meliodas versus that random the guy that was not even a holy night member and he knocked him out like one hit. That's another thing, animation. This shit better be on another level, bro. Yeah. Bro, At we first, already saw it go up a level in season two with the filler or whatever. It actually looked like some movie type shit. Honestly, it looked like it went up. I don't know if that was just for that season and that filler, but we'll see how this season is. So yeah, let's just yeah. get into it. Let's find out. Oh, shit. Yo, he's battling himself. He's battling himself. No, he's not, you idiot. Those are the Ten Commandments. <gasps> oh, yeah, probably. Damn, yo. This is, hold on. This animation is looking clean. Oh shit! Man, this is what they, these guys are about. This they is be, when they better be cool. But oh, okay, let's look cool already. <laughs> this is when they casted him out of the demon room. They won't let you hurt else. No, what is going on, man? So long, Bartra. Thanks. So that filler stuff free. happened Take in the middle, remember? Yeah, right. that's what I was saying yeah, before. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah this was well, like technically because you know none of that shit happened. Yeah. Well, whatever. I don't fucking know. This wait, she, she, not, wait, what? It was just a dream, nothing more. The capital is peaceful once again, after all. So is this happening before it she left? Be. Anyway, what was it you wanted to oh, see? Oh, shit, yeah, I saw uh, it. Yes. The kingdom is well on the road. He thinks that she had a vision. Yeah. People are adjusting back to their normal, tranquil lives. The king's gonna give all of us medals? Yes. The disposable <laughs> hawk. <laughs> it's just a disposable I didn't see that part. <laughs> Wait, he's normal size again? What are you laughing about? Thanks for waiting, guys. What happened? <laughs> hey. All right, what do you think? This would make an awesome new uniform for the poor hat, too. His season two <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Shit. So where'd you get bed every night? Hey! I, too, am all set to go. Oh, God. <laughs> you heard that dirty joke? You know right. my size because we share a bed every night? Oh, oh man, look at that God. fashion sense. What's that? Oh, that would be my sweet one, of course. My beloved. Yo, that's so creepy now that we know what happened. You have a new outfit too, Oh my god, it's like the, it's like everyone's getting to see the Everybody's two looking outfit, fresh like. this season. I like it. And she's the same. Bro, we just got introduced to her not too long ago. Today was my last day in the seven deadly sins. Oh shit. He's no longer a sin. Bro. He's leaving the city. Is the Ten Commandments gonna make him oh, come shit. out of. Oh shit. Dante. <laughs> Devil May Cry. Yo. So long, Captain. This motherfucker really look like that. Master. Oh shit. Who's that? Who's spying on him? How obsessed can Bond be with this girl, man? Oh, this is mission. Show a little decorum in front of his majesty. It's always been his one sin that he's trying to reverse. Okay. Can't. Looks like he's back to his original size again. So have Bon and King chosen not to attend? Where could they be at a time like this? Where they to I mean, originally. Damn, no. Everyone's Hauser. looking at negatively. He's so ass, I never remember his name. <laughs> now I finally oh, no, know. He said, say something. So they're talking about them, huh? Oh, shit. Hey, look, aren't those the Pleiades of the Azure Sky? Look at these <laughs> fucking chumps. <laughs> they're gonna beat their oh, ass, bro. The Pleiades of the Azure Sky who served the assist grateful. My king. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool, them, bro. He's gonna give them the demonstration. 
You got a scouter? This pig. What is it? <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always curious about that pig, yeah. I was trying to get more curious about it. Yo, he has a scouter. That's crazy. He has a scouter. We got power levels, literally. Yo, that is funny. Oh boy, the piggy. But the men I knew were holy knights. Not only did they have the heart to try and do the right thing, but they also had the strength to back up that ambition and see it through. <laughs> Yo, you're not on their level. <laughs> that was cool. Yo, but yo, this killed that shit. Yo, that was so cool, bro. Yo, that whole line was so high. It was not even funny, bro. He basically told them straight up, you're not experienced, you're not mature enough. Bro, that shit was hot, bro. That was some good ass writing right there. Damn. I think Meliodas got stronger. Looks like this is over. Oh my god. You know, I think you need to start all over as an apprentice holy knight. <laughs> bro, he broke your fingers, bro. Take the L. Strength, 25. Spirit, 5. What? Oh, he's talking about... <laughs> he's got like the same thing. Yeah. To be completely honest, it would be substantially harder to score lower than your power level of 30. <laughs> he said it's 3,000. <laughs> That's what he's on. They're all around 3,000. <laughs> 3, she's strong as all these <laughs> fucking power levels. Yo, that's what I was about to say, bro. We need to write this down. <laughs> this episode is hot, bro. <laughs> yeah, they think this is such a funny Bro, that's so way. cool because some, some of them have more magic power more than strength. Like she had only 70 strength, but she had mad magic power and mad um, yeah. this shit. bro. That, that shit is, those shit stats is are hot, bro. I feel like I want to listen to all that again, bro. Yo, can, yo, can somebody please in the comments, bro? Write like, down their stats. Like just like write it all out for us, guys. If you fucking love us, bro, just please do that, bro. You, we talk about power levels all the time, that bro. Hot. That's why this episode is so hot. And there's a monstrous threat that's closing in on a kingdom to the south called Camelot. Damn, yo. And another thing, it's true they were always scolding us, but didn't Hendrickson stand up for us all the time? Yo, they gotta figure this out, bro. Like, what happened oh, to them? Bro, something really happened, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is not, it's like a mystery. I believe we should take Merlin's advice. We should try and search for the truth. But where would we even begin? Well, I know. Oh, this was the Let's scene I think we saw. Master Dreyfus's room. Or they were in the room? Yeah. We saw that scene then. Did we? Yeah, at the end of season one. From the valley of each what this man asked me to do. Okay, you so he's possessed by demon, that's what's need. happening. Free to go. What in the world are you talking about? Was Hendrickson possessed before? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's this abnormal presence I'm sensing? It's been three thousand years, but we've finally returned. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you mad cool. Three thousand years, huh? Please tell me that he's still alive. Who's he? <laughs> voice of Leo. I know it. I'll see you soon, Meliodas. You kind of look like Meliodas. Yo, what is going on? But anyway, so um. We see some cool vision shit in the beginning of foreshadowing of what's gonna happen, and then we find out that um that Bon is headed back to uh these woods that where um Elaine died, you know, and the demon, the fairy kingdom, the yeah um, the fairy forest called. or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, they're headed back there, and we don't know why. King is following him because he's he's curious to know why he's heading back there, and he's not gonna leave him alone until he tells him the truth. Yeah, they didn't give any hints as to why uh, Bon decided to do this. Yeah. So uh, that's all they had was that thing in season one where. You yeah. know that goddess was lying to him, whatever. No, that, that has nothing to do with anything. Because yeah, I know. Meliodas, Meliodas destroyed that. So, so that we have no idea what Vaughn is planning here. Yeah. So that's interesting to see there. And then after that, we freaking um, what? Did, uh, oh, we get like um, all these people uh, talking about um, 
Hendrix. We pretty much got a lot of like Hendrickson and uh and um Dreyfus. and Dreyfus like little more um backstory on like who their characters were before like they became crazy or whatever. So here's an idea. He could be possessed or he could have been one of the commandments all along. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just no, not what thinking. Do you mean? I, yeah, that Ooh. would be a crazy twist. Ooh. Dreyfus. Imagine he no. was like Dre- Dreyfus is possessed, hundred percent. You idiot. That's a, that's not a question. That's not the question that we're we're talking. I I I wouldn't say one hundred percent. How? I you're fucking dumb. Let me tell Am you I- right now how it's hundred percent. He was like, he's talking to him as he's not even a, a the same person. Just how the same way. Hendrickson know, was I talking know. when the demon took over his body when he transforms into that thing. My prediction is that Dra- um, Hendrickson was possessed before that. Like, he was possessed by a demon. That's why he was doing all these actions. Oh, when because, he killed his brother and things like that? Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe. Man. Yeah, maybe he was already possessed and he, he, he was convinced Dreyfus to do it. And that's why Dreyfus did it because Dreyfus seemed regretful about doing it. Yeah. Hendrickson seemed like the bad guy from the beginning. So we know that there was something wrong with him. Now the, 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 uh, the roles are reversed. Well, here's a thought, too. Hendrickson wanted to summon the demons to fight them, didn't he? Wasn't that his goal? Um, yeah, some, yeah, some, yeah. He wanted to, he wanted to release them to to start to have havoc on the world and then recreate the world in his image or something like I think that's something about how it was saying. And then they were they were con- they were contemplating saying, do you really think we could beat the demons? And we're like, he was like, yeah, we can. Yeah, but I think what, he yeah. had a bit at the end of the day. I think that was a false. I think that was just to, that's what he was telling the people as that demon, you know, and then his real goal was to actually, you know, just release the demons and shit. I don't think so, because when we saw him consume the gray demon, that's when he really was possessed. And it was like a very different right but at the same time he was acting evil to do the whole thing and now it seems like he's regretful and he seems so like he wants he, to do he the could right have thing. been possessed by two demons well, at that well, time? I, honestly there's a lot of speculation we could do right now but they'll probably they'll yeah, probably okay. explain it in the future obviously so i don't want to get too into that but i, I think the, hendrickson was evil from the beginning like just him. he may have been yeah it may have been because I, I, honestly there's really no hints to say that he was possessed i, I kind of yeah i kind of think it's like a situation because where... right now you can the things where i say it probably isn't true is because there's certain things that you can tell when somebody's possessed by his eye and by the the little thing the tad thing i think also is an indication that the demon has possessed them because um, well, all that's the what demons, i'm saying that, them demons have okay that. yeah that's what i'm saying but i'm saying if he has that maybe it's not that he's possessed it's just because he has it because he's a demon but yeah i do agree with all that shit you said no. about him like being regretful no he's definitely killing. he's definitely is possessed it's, it's the same thing that happened to hendrickson when he got possessed by the demon yeah because he, it took over his body and it wasn't even hendrickson anymore that's exactly what's going on with dreyfus right now dreyfus is still in there and and the reason he he has some control over that body because at the same time this de- it's a demon why would a demon listen to dreyfus he said that oh the only reason i'm keeping you alive is because this body or this uh whoever's inside me wants me to keep you alive or this body wants me to keep you alive he says something like that I, I think he just mentioned someone else not someone like inside him no that's what he said nigga trust me if you could go back into the episode right now he said the, the person inside wants me to keep you alive that's the only reason you're alive right now or something like that yeah well whatever besides that because we we can't you know say much on it yeah but like i said it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be revealed in the future i'm sure but um Besides that, yeah, yeah um, I, I just this setup was amazing, bro. You said they had to go hard, they went hard. For this bro, that's episode. not the only thing that was hot, man. Also with the pig, the I know, no, pig. but but I'm saying like the whole thing about Dreyfus and Henderson, they added mystery in there, they added power levels, they added all this shit to set up for like, like I wanted, cool bro. They got art. me, they got me wanting more. Like that's yeah. what I wanted from the episode. So. They that was right that was it was really cool to see them like actually tying in stuff from season one as well too like like why stuff was happening because like a lot of it did seem like like i was asking a lot of questions in season one like what the fuck is going on like why is he fucking want to open the thing to the demon realm and like blah blah, blah. Yeah. And, and obviously he explained it but it didn't seem right so I, it always seemed like there was more to that so now it's cool that they're explaining on that um but yeah, the the pig now is like he's he's getting more relevant as the time goes on, man. Like this motherfucker is literally their scouter now, and obviously he's not the only one that can do that. Well, Merlin, Gother, Gother yeah, Merlin could do that as well. Merlin and, and makes Merlin the obviously shit. could do it too because you know she fucking gave it to him. So, but yeah, Merlin's um, a cool character. I like her character so far. Yeah, and so far she's literally um she's I think no joke um like I'm almost to Meliodas level because she was higher than everybody else. Well, yeah, rank. But I, it went. I, like I think said, from variables. what I from what I could from what I could gather, what I remember, 
she didn't even scan, scan Bond in that episode, so we didn't get a scan, a scan on him, I don't think. So, but it went Meliodas, um, Merlin, Deanne, um, and then um, and Gother. And I don't know what, I don't know. Yeah, those were the only ones that got scanned. They were all around the same level. That's what I'm saying. They were all in the 3000s. And, uh, and what, what I'm thinking is, does them having their sacred treasure have anything to do with that? How it's read? Because if so, then Meliodas is a god. Because he's on all three levels already without his uh, sacred treasure. That's the end has their sacred treasure. And uh, I don't know about Merlin, but. Yeah, I don't know about Merlin, but obviously Golther. Well, I don't know. Maybe, too. maybe, maybe that wasn't because, like, oh no, that that's not the that's not the real power. Because just like um, Golther said, that's not the real power level. Things can fl- um, change and fluctuate. Like Golther yeah. was explaining something like that, so that was cool to see. Because obviously, in the Dragon Ball Z world, it was like that as well. You know, people see their base power and think that that's their actual power, but no, things could change. Like the bro, there's no way we can't compare this to Dragon Ball Z. I know we try to not compare shit, but. This is obviously inspiration for Dragon Ball Z. Like, it's like power, man. And, but it's it's a better version, I think, because they got like real stats. Like this is an RPG type shit. Yeah, it's, it's almost it's, like it's an RPG. It's super cool to see how they they uh, they do. Um, they have literally levels of different things, yeah, and then like, they add all those levels if, up to if, determine their own their if, ultimate. Level, if it's right? the fantasy like setting of this whole show, because you know a lot of RPG games they're like that. You know, fantasy stats are like that. So it's, like, it's just like we said cool before, thing. man. This shit is fan service, bro. They got everything for all the nerds out here. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, fucking, uh, yeah, it was a good episode, man. And I'm um, that intro was the opening, and then was the, that cool, ending bro. there was fucking crazy. That ending was hot, bro. And let me let me just also say that Meliodas is literally ten times badass, more badass in this season already by one fucking episode. Everything he was Meliodas said in this episode was hardcore. Every single thing he said. I didn't even see him fuck around. Only in the beginning a little bit. I saw the, the Meliodas that we all know. Where he's always fucking around and being dumb. Like, But from then on, like, he was serious, bro. He was, like, sunning all the fucking low-class Bro, and he, 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 was, he was, like, he was saying, he was, like, I'm not saying this to defend them. Because I could care less about them. But, and then he went in. He was, like, they're way better than you. And they have pride. And they're fucking honorable. Like, he was just saying all this shit. He, he, didn't, <laughs> he, didn't, I, obviously, shit. he didn't say all that. But he was just saying, you know, saying all this shit why they're better than him, you know? So that shit was hot, and then and then they they confronted him, and he was like, "I didn't say nothing but the truth, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't say, I ain't say that. I ain't say that shit to make you happy. <laughs> but anyway, but fucking yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. some good stuff, but yeah, man. It's, it's just it's so this episode. I mean, it may not seem that good from like someone watching from outside, but this this it, it, <coughs> this it, anime for me because of how like. How underwhelming some parts of season one felt for me. Like there was definitely some hot moments in season one, but it just felt like it could have been way better. So seeing this episode makes me so happy, bro. Yeah, because honestly, it, it's realizing its potential. It, I think. Exactly, that's what happened. Season one, like you said, if in their head, like people, people are watching, they're probably getting feedback from people. They're like, oh, this shit was so good, but it could have been better. Like they're taking that feedback, bro, and they're going in this season, bro. They're gonna fucking. They're gonna go hard from the get right now. Like that first episode was hot, and they're gonna keep giving us some yeah. good shit. And can we talk about those designs for the Ten Commandments? Oh, yeah, those motherfuckers are not scary. to mention our main characters all got new outfits too. So that's pretty cool as well. Yeah, like they gave us so much as like, this episode. It's not even funny, but yeah. guys, let's we're gonna have to wrap it up here because we're gonna have to watch the second episode. We've been right? talking for my long. Yeah, man. Hurry I'm, up, I'm man. already hungry. Hurry up, man. <laughs> Anyways, guys, come on, man, relax. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button to show your support to the channel and subscribe if you're new. In the studio? Harry, yeah! Just what a. Oh my god. Anyways, but uh, yeah. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all our reaction videos. And if you want to see this reaction in full length, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to pledge a dollar to our Patreon because you get access to all of our four most recent reaction series in hey, full fuck length. Up. <laughs> so our four most recent reaction series you get access to those uh all those episodes in full length and you get earlier reactions to seven deadly sins um yeah we're posting them earlier much earlier we're like 10 episodes ahead i think so patreon you get good benefits all the shit you see around you right now this lighting this background this whole room all funded by the patreon so if you want to help contribute to our equipment be sure to pledge a dollar um and you know we're out here Four dollars, you get access to the movie reactions and our whole entire archive library of reactions that are not on the one-star pledge. 
Uh, and you get pulls. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and peace.